Hi, I am Dr. Hannah and you are watching Ask the Expert. September is an infant mortality prevention month where we see 20,000 deaths of baby every year in the United States from birth defect or in sudden infant death syndrome. Today, I'm gonna discuss some tips how to keep your newborn baby safe and healthy. Evidence show that we have 1.2 per 1,000 deaths in the first year of life. 17% of this increase in the first year of life happening in the first month of the child life and only 2% happening after nine months of life. What puts your child um, at risk to develop the unexplained uh, infant death syndrome? First, something uh, coming with the baby himself, like prematurity, uh, low birth weight, twin gestation. Other factors can be contribute to the mom. Unplanned or poor prenatal care, that is a big deal with infant death syndrome. Young maternal age and poor support around, that's also related to. Other important factor in sudden infant death syndrome uh, risk factor uh, is actually sleeping environment. Uh, sleeping environment can vary from prone sleep or actually non-supine sleep. The evidence show that back to sleep or supine sleep increase cerebral perfusion from premature baby to full newborn uh, term baby. Also sleeping on a soft bed or uh, a lot of so extra bedding accessory next to the baby uh, from even soft uh, crib bump bumper or over swaddling. And if you put the baby on the side or if you put the baby on the prone position while it's tight swaddling, that's actually put him at risk. What is the important step that pregnant mom can do to prevent during pregnancy and after delivering the baby that their baby will be at risk for sudden infant risk syndrome? First is take care of yourself because you need to avoid a low birth weight, premature delivery, or any pregnancy complication condition. Second is to try to avoid smoking during pregnancy and also in the postpartum months. Third is to plan to breastfeed the child because this is shown that it's protecting against a sudden infant death syndrome, even two months of breastfeeding. Some of the resources that North Shore uh, provide to young mom with their new and uh, newborn babies to make sure that the babies are healthy and safe is provide good mental health and support to mom during their uh, first months of baby care. Second is to check for any risk factor this baby can have either uh, from uh, pregnancy complication or delivery complication and also from um, the environment and the infection situation around the baby. Thanks for watching Ask the Expert. For more information, go to northshorehealth.org.